Hey, what's up guys? This is Tom from Chalk5. Welcome back to another episode of Arc Aberration, episode 6, I believe. Not too sure about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, welcome back. So, after last episode, if you guys didn't watch it, feel free to click that I in the top right-hand corner. It was crazy how it ended. Um, obviously, this is a bit of a spoiler alert, probably, as you can see right now. But yeah, it was just insane. Go check it out. Massive earthquake. Oh, just, it was an absolute nightmare for me, but it's turned out okay in the end. So, as you can probably see, I finally, I don't know why you're like slanted like that, but whatever. I finally got my dinos back. I actually, you know, they're all fine. Nothing happened. They're all literally like, yeah, I didn't encounter like any bad dinos or anything like that. So, everything was fine. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you what I did here in a bit. But for right now, I want to show you something that, look at this. I've been putting a lot of work into this house, and as you can see, it's clearly not finished, but um, I sort of, I didn't want to do any more because I wanted to show you guys what I'd been doing like off camera and sort of like, kind of like I've said in my other ARC series, I wanted to show like the pro progression of me building this house because I think that'd be like cooler than just being like, hey, here it is, and stuff like that. So you can see that I'm actually doing it, and it's, it's going pretty well. Um, I did want to like tweak these because it kind of annoys me how the bed sort of like look at that I'm right right on the pestle of mortar and yet it, it chooses the bed sometimes so I kind of want to change that I think I'll leave it for right now though uh, because what I want to actually do is and this is gonna be like a cool little balcony area a bit like I've got my other arc series but I haven't really got around to that yet because all this ground's really uneven so I have to make ceilings and stuff like that but I'm getting there and I'm not sure how many of these windows I'll actually keep. I, like, I might keep them all. I do like them. And I didn't want to really, like, block out the view. But I want to make it nice and closed in so it's nice and safe. I, I'm also taking this out to, like, here at the minute. And I'm, I'm going to, like, use this big area as just solid walls and just have this as, like, all storage. Um, so, like, large storage boxes just piled up one after the other. And then I can just put loads of stuff in it. And then that way I can, like, gather materials off camera and store them all in there and then we won't have to like worry about it in the episodes because I can just quickly run and get stuff out uh, yeah what level am I actually I've like forgotten it's been a few days since I've actually played so I can't quite remember what I was doing but level 23 so I think I just unlocked I went up a level or two off camera uh, I'm not sure how many uh, oh bookshelf oh Oh, we can unlock the um, the hatches. I want to do that, but I want to do the refine. Oh, I should have done the smithy first. What am I playing at? Why don't I? <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I couldn't unlock it anyway. Um, but I want to make the refining forge. So we're going to need fiber, flint, hide, stone, and wood. And I'm not sure if we've. God, Stego, seriously? This is a male level 26. Would like to tame one of them eventually. Probably not this episode, though. Um, We've got pelt. Yeah, I think I was attacked by like a Ravender off camera. Most kill it though. Uh, that was probably about it, really. So what have I got like in here? Uh, I've got. Uh, I've got yes. What about right? Hang on. <laughs> Let me just find Refining Forge on here. So it's crafting Refining Forge, right? So I've got the wood. I have got the fiber. I am gonna need some flint. I've almost got the hide. Only five flint. We might have that in here, maybe. Or no, yeah, I think I got some knock berries off camera. So no, we haven't got like, any flint. We might have enough stone though. Yes, we do have enough stone. Um, can I move? No, I can't move. Okay. Well, I'll put this stone up for now, and then if we just get some flint real quickly, I guess then go kill something. Just need five flint. There we go. That's enough. Don't want to be over encumbered. Well, let's just go see if we can kill something really quick to get some more hide. Something, I'd say, decently big. But I'm not too fussed what. I don't really want to kill them stegos because even though they're not mine, they're, they're kind of protecting my base by being there. And that's just, that's only a good thing for us right now because everything's out to get us. So I don't really want to attack them. I'm just... I can't remember if I saw some ravages up here as well. Like off camera, so I'm being a bit cautious right now, just in case 
you're wondering why I'm going so slowly, but uh, I can't see them. No, um, like, also my voice might be sort of <laughs> oh, a bit throaty, because I've just been screaming away at the, at the other ARC series that I was filming. Crazy episode. I don't know if that'll be up before this one or the other way around, but go check it out. It was crazy. I won't ruin the surprise and tell you what happened, but man, <laughs> some stuff happened all right. Uh, man, I'm not seeing like any dinos up here. What, what's going on? Let me, I'm just, I'm keeping an eye out for bulb dogs as well. Oh, speaking of the devil. That is, oh, there it is. Oh, wow, male level 34. Honestly, not bad. Let's just check there's nothing like around here. I don't think there is. Oh, another one there, another one there. Another bulb dog. Uh, level 7, meh. Oh, actually, yeah, we can tame it, we can tame it. Just because I've got loads of, um... Oh, God, I need to put on the last item slot. Uh, uses some aquatic mushrooms. And he's nearly tamed. Might as well tame them both, and then, like I said, I, what I wanted to do is just leave a couple of bulb dogs like, at my base. Because they're, like, basically standing torches. <laughs> So, well, like, why wouldn't you? And they're like automatically switch on, unlike standing torches. Uh, if you set them, yes, nice. If you set them to like turn on when fully charged, which okay, stop. And we'll do that right now. Auto activate at full charge. Nice. So he's going to charge up on his own. And in fact, have you got any parasol? Have you got any aquatic mushrooms? A little bit of lag there. No, you haven't. Never mind. Uh. Oh god, where's the other one gone? Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Let's just feed you. Whilst... Oh, nice! Tamed! Alright, sweet. And I thought I saw something over here. Oh, it was a dodo! Level 47. Oh, it's a male, though. If that was a female, I'd tame it. But, oh god, totally missed right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, let's just harvest the... F uh, no, we need hide, don't we? So, we need a hatchet for hide. Eight hide. Meh. Not too bad. But yeah, shame that wasn't a female. I would have tamed it for sure. So, I guess you can be like our new... Oh, level 50! Wow! Okay, well we can turn you on to auto-activate as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not seeing anything else around. Okay. Hmm. Do I risk my bulb dogs now I've just tamed them? Let's just leave them there a second and just see if there is anything like up here. Oh, there's a stego there. What level is that? If it's trash, I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll kill it. I'll kill it. Why not? Might as well. Uh, level 5, because that's like nothing. Oh, we got a hit right there. We got a hit right there. Nice. Fire another arrow. It's quite far, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to hit it, but we seem to be doing okay. Oh, we just fell off that thing. Off that rock. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, okay. It's going to hit me. It's going to hit me. It's going to hit me hard as well, because they, they do insane damage. Uh, it looks really bloody though, and we killed it, we killed it, nice! Okay, wow, get a lot of arrows back. And let's just harvest the flesh, get some hide. Got a little bit of raw prime meat there as well, not bad, not bad at all. Getting a lot of hide actually, wow. That might have just done us. Um, let's just check. And yep, that's it, we got enough, we got enough, alright, I'd say that was successful. Okay, bulb dog, follow me. Jamie can't like pick two up at a time. Or like put one on your parasaur or something like that. <laughs> like have it like mounted to that gold bit on the back of the saddle. That'd be sweet. <laughs> That'd be really good. Okay. So let's just take this guy back. And then I guess we can keep this high level one like on the shoulder. And hopefully it'll help us out quite a bit. We can check like the stats in a bit, I guess, as well. But if I see any more, I'll still tame them. Because I'm looking, what was that? It was pink dodo. Okay, well what level is this pink dodo? Is it a female? It's a male and it's level 11. That's trash. Let's kill it. End its life. I really want a, f a female just for the eggs, really. Although I'm not sure if males do lay eggs. Like dodos. Because dodos have this weird thing where, like, instead of laying eggs at, like, set intervals, they... It's... What is it? There's, like, a percentage... Every time they like poop or whatever, 
it's somewhere like that. Like every time they, you know, <laughs> they drop a load, <laughs> then there's like a ten percent chance it's going to be an egg or something crazy. Not too sure about that, but it, it's something similar for sure. Similar to that. Wow, I'm liking this bulb dog. It's like blue on our shoulders there. Nice. It looks really good. Okay, so no threats around here that I've seen. Background sort of glitching out of it, but never mind. So I guess when we come back to the base now, and hmm, I haven't really like seen anything new either, like apart from the other episodes. Man, this bulb dog's really slow. But yeah, when we go back to the base, we can just grab that stone out of the pestle and mortar, and then. That'll be it. Oh, it's only level 10 as well. Bless it. I think it got like one level up, didn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Oh, I need to give him some food, actually, thinking about it. Let's do that. Because I don't want him to starve. Um. So, yeah. Whoops. Take that away. Claim that. And I think it's triangle to, like, split it, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Okay, so if I give them, like, four... Where'd it go? 14 each. Oh, he's following the parasol. Oh, I saw that in a sec. God, Purcell, you kidding me? Oh, right, well, let's tell you to stop following. Okay. Oh, and I'm sliding off my scorpion. <laughs> what? Okay, let's give it the um, the aquatic mushrooms. Uh, I might as well just give it 27, yeah, because it's hungry, look. And then we could throw you off, and then we give you some as well. Wow, really nice colour. I'm really liking that, like... Blue. Is that like teal? Blue? Or I guess like turquoise blue? I don't know. I'm not even going to like pretend that I know. <laughs> but nice, we just got a level up too. So I guess we can do... I guess health, because it's only 140. Melee damage though. Ooh, it's only 125. Let's do melee damage instead. And can we now unlock the smithy? That'd be really good. Yes, we can. Okay, good. What else have we unlocked? Oh, like stone foundation, stuff like that. Okay, so I can pick this one up. So this one's level 30. That was our, like, other original one. And then this one's level 10. So I guess throw you down a second. And you can, like, be in my base. You might be a bit safer there. Because you're such a low level. Oh, don't go the door. Are you kidding me? I was trying to, like, put it in there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let me, like, turn him, make him look this way. There we go. Oh, that's quite cute. Nice! It's like a little, like, doghouse bit. Okay, cool. So that one's going to turn on automatically. I think you're set to turn on automatically. Enabled? Yeah, so I don't want to, like... Oops, I don't want to, like, mess with that. Put you back down. And let's just make you, like... Oh, God, no! No! Oh, God, I pressed follow all then. Jeez. Just turn around. Boop dog. Turn around. Nice. Nice. That's better. And um, we'll carry this one around. Leave some names down below, guys. Leave a comment down below if you want to name this little red bulldog, this orangey one, the green bulldog, the moss chops, the scorpion, the parasaur, the iguanodon. There's a lot to name, so like, feel free to name one or two at a time. I don't mind. Not now. Not in the worst, like, I don't have that many subscribers and viewers and stuff like that, so just feel free. Knock yourselves out. <laughs> and I'll name them like next episode if I get any if I get any name suggestions. Right, let's put that spoiled meat up there. Craft some knockerberries. Uh knockerberries? What? <laughs> Narcotics. And uh, let's just quickly get all this stone out. And then we can make a refining forge. Nice, and then we actually need to get Oh, we've got everything we need as well for the, the thing above the ingots. We just need and we've we've got some metal too. This is perfect. Let me... I didn't mean to put that in there. <laughs> I meant to put it in my hotbar. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this, actually. Um... Hmm. I haven't really thought about this. Because I thought that was going to be over there. Uh, maybe, like... No, because that would that change that. Maybe I should put the doorway, like, here instead. Hmm, yeah, probably should. I was going to have the doorway here, you see, so you'd walk out on the balcony like this, and then I thought, no, that would probably look like better. But then I can't have, like, my smithy and refining forge here if I do that, so... I'm just going to put it down, 
and then if I decide to like change anything off camera I'll show you guys next episode but that looks pretty good um, it's kind of in nah. no that looks pretty good I can't really see out the door anyway but no that looks fine that looks fine so let's put some metal up and we put some wood up and a bit of thatch I'm not really bothered I think we've got loads of metal in here actually uh, six. Oh, it's not that much. Not as much as I thought. We need ten, don't we? I can turn that on, so we should be able to get some. Now we've got this metal pickaxe, which we also found last episode. Crazy find. I think it was off a dead scorpion or something, but... Let's just do that. Uh, no, I didn't get any metal from that. Are you kidding me? I don't mind, like, mining flint, obviously, because I need it for spark powder, so that's always... Fine and dandy, got one bit of metal there. Two bits of metal there. Wow, these rocks were flying. And I how much do I need? I think that's it actually, I think that's all I needed. Uh oops, press the wrong thing. Uh no two no, I need one more. I had seven. There we go, just got it. Might as well just finish harvesting that. Not bad. And I got two metal from that one, so that's that's really good. And I'm being quite slow now. We got loads of glow sticks. Might as well like just throw a glow stick down. Why not? <laughs> Light this area up. We've got so many. I don't even care. I don't even care. We also got this pike last episode, which is pretty good. Like it's not. I don't think it's as good as a sword, but it's got better range than a sword. So it depends what's more important to you, I guess. Anyway, let's put up this extra flint because I don't. I don't know if we need any flint for the smithy. No, oh, but we do need the wood that I threw up in here. And, oh, I need 30 wood. Right, that's fine. That's fine. But have I got anything else to burn? No, I haven't. <laughs> Might have in the uh, the fire. Nope, but I can put this meat up for sure. And that's it. Fire's run out. Yeah, I've got some spark powder. I can put that up in there. And, oops. Might as well put 20 in there, light that up, get some meat cooking, and just shove the rest of the spark powder in here. Literally, literally, to smell one more metal bar. One more ingot. And that'll be it. We're good to go. So, I'll just quickly wait for this, and then that's it. We've got a smithy as well, and I, uh, man, I don't know where I'm going to put the smithy. Maybe, like, I'll get rid of this. Hmm, it might fit there actually, like on the end, and then I might be able to get another furnace in there. That'd be pretty good. I'd be pretty happy with that. Alright, there we go. We've got five. We've got five. So turn it off. Yeah, so I'm just sort of thinking, man, I'm really heavy right now as well. Oh, and an earthquake! It best not send me flying like last time. Okay. And. Oh, cinnamon sticks! There we go, and I'm picking up. No, stone. Oh! Oh, give me the cinnamon sticks. There we go. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's my glow stick. <laughs> Whoa, we got crystals and stuff popping up. I love how they just give you crystals. It's so good. And I'm not sure what that was. Okay, obsidian. I mean, I'm collecting these cinnamon sticks. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just going to keep saying that forever. Forever. Let's just put all this up because it's pretty heavy. If we can, like, keep carrying it around. Okay, and we should have the smithy now. Nice. So, can I... Oh, it would be an earthquake. In fact, I can't do it whilst the earthquake's on. Let me just wait till this earthquake finishes, guys, and then... <laughs> and then we can uh, put it down. Otherwise, it's going to be throwing me around all over the place. Uh, I'll just be here collecting these cinnamon sticks. <laughs> Ooh, okay, guys, I think the earthquake has finally stopped. Uh, oh, that's cinnamon sticks! Nice, got him, got him. Okay, I think I did get quite a bit there, actually. Uh, no, it's just normal stone, normal texture. These fireflies are, like, freaking out. Uh, I didn't really need to get rid of that death point as well <laughs> over there at some point. And cooking up some meat. That's going pretty well. I'll just leave that for now. Right, let's put this smithy down, and then we can see. Ah, oh, man, that's the annoying thing. I'm going to have to, like, get rid of this. Hmm... Hmm, I'm probably going to have to do a lot more off-camera work, but I have to get rid of this to put the smoothie down like right next to the wall. I don't know about that one. 
it, yeah, see, look, the way I did it on like my other series is I had to literally guess, sort of thing, like how how close to the end it's going to be, and that looks pretty good. Go over a bit, and then I just really like play around with it like this. So that looks pretty close to the end, and that's as far that way as I'm. I'm gonna get man, it's so tedious. I'm trying to move right there. We go, there we go, and that looks pretty straight. So I'm just gonna put it down. Ooh, that looks tight. That looks tight. Might be able to just craft a wooden. Ah, we could put a. Um, hmm. Well, I need to get rid of this one anyway because I can't obviously like get out of there. So wooden door frame, demolish that. And I'm over in cupboard now, but it's okay because that's it. I've got enough. So let's just make one of these and see if that's close enough. But this is basically what I did when I'm making my house and stuff. Because it's stupid, otherwise the smithy is like so far away from the wall, it's crazy. And it takes up so much room. That's it, now look at that, look how tight that is. That's way better, and it's more or less in line with the wall, so that's pretty good. Kind of goes into this box a bit, but uh, I'm not too fussed, it, it sort of works. <laughs> but at least that's nice and like tucked away. That is really good. So let's just go and fill up my water bottle. And still nothing on the fish thing. I don't think. <laughs> the fish basket. And I still haven't actually done any research on this. I really need to do some research on this fish basket and find out what on earth that is all about. Because I haven't I haven't even seen like any other fish apart from the um, coelacanths. But never mind. Let's just get back up to the base and figure out what I was on about. Okay, so yeah, I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fix all this off camera. But for right now, we haven't got any more metal, have we? I didn't even pick up any up in the earthquake. Which, hmm, it's kind of annoying. Normally they do give you a bit of metal, but it doesn't look like they bothered this time. Well, I guess I could put my, um, like, trash up in this. So, like, flint, fiber, hide, all that stuff. Just because we, how much do we actually need? For, well, we've got the metal pick, so we don't actually need that. Let's say one ingot. We need eight ingots. So we need, um, 16 normal metal, because you get one per two per two metal. So that's unfortunate. I don't know if we'll be able to quickly get that right now. We could try. Might as well because I haven't really got anything else planned for this episode. I just sort of wanted to like update you guys. Got one metal right there. At least we need like hardly anything for um Oh no I man I'm being stupid. There are like metal rich rocks over there. Let's just go over there and we take our parasol. And God must drop seriously. Get him out of my way. And oh this parasol's got a level up. There we go. Ah, uh, what should we do? Probably more health. I just don't want any of my stuff to, like, die right now. So, go on, parasol. Finish your little dance. Or whatever it is. <laughs> but yeah, right over there, guys. There's some metal rich, metal rich rock. I'm losing the ability to talk. Um, and I did... Yeah, I was getting loads of berries over here. And I found out that the, uh, the plant thing does not do anything. Let me show you when I get over there. But I haven't actually, like, gone up to it. Oh, yeah, also, like, these mushrooms. You harvest these mushrooms, these red ones. You get crazy amounts of rare mushrooms. But, yeah, this red plant thing doesn't do anything. I have no idea what that is about. Uh, but I haven't actually gotten off my parasol yet. We could try that. Let's just, like... <laughs> why not? We'll see what this actually does. We'll see if I can, like, harvest it or something. Okay. Oh. Okay, it does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. What if I... Hmm. What is this? What are you? What are you? <laughs> I thought it was going to attack me, but... Apparently not. And I can't chop it down either. It's just a random... Decorative plant, it seems. Okay, well, that's strange. And... Oh, man, I've so nearly walked into that mushroom then. Anyway, let's just harvest some metal. And there's also some crystal here, which is pretty good. Well, let's harvest some metal. How heavy am I going to be if I harvest all this? Probably pretty heavy. Ooh, nearly. Oh, yeah, we're even covered. 
I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully my parasol can get- Oh man, no, oh, man, no. No, we can't. Come over here, parasol, please. Come right here. Right here. I need you right next to me so I can put this stuff in your inventory. Stop! Are you serious? <sighs> get there. Oh, man! <laughs> so annoying. It's like, come right next to me. There we go, there we go. Okay, well I can give you all these mushrooms that I've just casually got. <laughs> As well, they must have been off you. Um, I guess I could put this meat in your inventory, and then if we ever get hungry, I guess we could just take it out of there and eat it. But you know, if we're like traveling around and I run out of meat, that's good. Oh my god, we're getting so much metal. This is crazy. Oh jeez, and I just harvested a crystal there as well. Can you even move? You can't even move. Wow. Okay, I guess we should have done weight then. <laughs> Uh, but I guess I can split that, give you half, and I still can't move! Wow! What? Why? Yeah, you're not even covered then, are you? And then I can move as well. Nice, okay. Follow me, and let's get back to the base. Then we can basically just like make the hatchet, and that'll be like the end of this episode. It's That's gone really quickly, but it's already almost half an hour in, so... That's about where I want it to be. Don't want it to be like too much longer because I don't want to like bore you guys, but the main thing is now that you've seen the base, I can update it again, like off camera and just work towards making it nice and safe, nice and like closed in. Look at this area. Wow. It looks so good. Even with like this big metal portal bridge thing that's all broken, it still looks mint. It looks so good. Loving aberration. Let me know what you guys think about it. Like, if any of you playing it or anything like that, so. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, nice. And I think, yeah, I thought Moss Chops got a level up before. Hmm. I guess we can do weight, because I've like i been basically using him as like a storage, as you can tell right now. I can't remember what I killed to get biotoxins. Uh, but I did get some prime meat as well. I think that was off like one of the stegos that died or something. I don't know. Um, a scorpion. Doing okay. I can give you a bit more sport meat because that's what they eat. I, th I don't know if they actually eat raw meat as well. Like, can you give them raw meat and they'll just eat that? Not too sure. Let's give you some health. And the iguanodon cannot wait to ride this iguanodon. But I think I need to be like level 30 for that. So that's going to be a while. Give you some more health. And oh, you've got a little bit of metal on you. I can take this. And oh, can I move? No, I can't move. Oh man. Well, we'll just leave these in here anyway. Because I can't move with them. But where is my parasaur? Okay, that's good. You stop there. And put this in the refining forge. And then we've got so much metal now. That is insane. I might as well take out this trash that's in your inventory as well. Um, take the spore meat. Take the raw meat. You don't need that. And uh, take all this other stuff. What I've been doing is like putting so like all these mushrooms because mushrooms do spoil now. They never used to, but now they spoil. And like any meat like that, I guess you can like hold on to, including cooked meat because it it takes longer to spoil in their inventory. I'm gonna give you some more spoiled meat as your food. That's fine. And then you've got all that stuff. But uh, no, I'll go and put up all these crystals and stuff first because they weigh a lot. And I'm getting a lot of pelt, actually. <laughs> I think that's mainly from Ravages. Because they seem to drop a good amount of pelt. And we've got plenty of flint now for, like, spark powder and stuff. So I'll do that off camera. And... Am I going to carry... Can I move with that? Man, I cannot move with that. That's crazy. I'll give you that. And I'll take these rare mushrooms off of you. I'll leave the meat in there, like I said. Then if we ever go exploring they can hold it you've got loads of like well you've got loads of stuff in it you haven't got that much carry weight because you're nearly full actually but I'd say that's pretty good pretty useful oh, I need to take this stone up probably put that in here and get working towards some more spark powder so we can smelt all this metal crazy amount of metal and now I should be able to carry it at last there we go wow 
the thing is, I mean, it looks a lot of metal right now, so what are we on? We're on 120 metal. That's only going to be 60 ingots. 64, you know, including them. So, mm, it seems a lot, but it's not really. Like, a sword takes so much. I don't know if we can have a look at that yet. Can I go in there? A sword takes so much metal. So much. No, we haven't unlocked it, but we almost unlocked the uh, the crossbow. And then, ah, uh, sword's down there, level 30 as well. That's the Iguanodon saddle that I was saying about. So, level 30. I guess next episode we'll probably just, like, go explore or something. Probably, like... <laughs> oh, my death point's gone. Oh, it must have finally expired. Okay, cool. I was going to say go get rid of that death point, but never mind. Either way, that's good. We can go explore and... I don't know, just sort of maybe like kill stuff, maybe like look to tame stuff. I guess we can like um, leave that smelt in, and then I might just quickly go show you guys how I actually got my dinosaurs back. So real quick, because it it, like, it was really easy actually. At the end of last episode, if you don't know, like we got flung off this cliff, and uh, my body went one way when my dinosaurs were stuck another. Dodecarus there, Stego there. And I don't think there's much else like over here that's new. Thankfully, there's no more ravages. Touch wood. There we go. Touch wood. Um, a lot of stecos actually. A little parasaur, mole rat there, or roll rat, whatever it is. But yes, that dodicarus looks pretty cool actually. Looks like camo, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was over here, like right at this back bit. There's Parasyratheriums. Casually wandering around. Stego. What level is like this Stego? Because it's in a pretty good spot to get tame, that is. Ooh, that might be interesting for next episode. We might try that. Because I can get up on like that cliff. And it won't be able to get me because it would just be like down here. And it can't really run anywhere because if it runs away, it might run into that cliff. That is a great idea. So yeah, guys, this is where <laughs> it all happened last episode. Look at this, what I had to make. Seriously? So, like, when I came back from my dinos, I ran down here, checked they were okay, they were, and I jumped off here to get my back to my, like, dead body, which was kind of annoying, because then I did, like, I jumped down here and ran all the way around, and it was actually fine. There was a raptor here before, but it was gone by the time I came back down here, because I was just going to run past it anyway. And then I went over there where I was before, before I got thrown away, uh, harvesting the mushrooms, getting loads of fiber, um, wood, and all sorts. And then, yeah, I had to get the wood for like a wooden ramp at the bottom. You see that wooden ramp there? <laughs> because I, I couldn't put a thatch like roof there in my dinosaurs, which I had to like make follow me. And then I'd run up this and then hope that they would sort of go right. Oh god, are you kidding me? There we go. There we go. Because it was like I couldn't put that central either, that roof bit. And I could have made another one, but that would have required a lot more resources so I was trying to do it with the least amount of resources used which I did and I got them all up pretty much okay so that that's how I got back up here guys um, I didn't cheat or anything I, you know I did it legitimately just so you guys can see that and it worked out pretty well it's something to like remember and I'll I'll leave it so we can <laughs> look back on it in like a few episodes or whatever and see how we actually got back up there or even use it in case we like fall down there again but anyway guys i think i'm gonna leave it there because this episode has gone over half an hour but that's really interesting we might try and tame that stego next episode so if you're interested in that be sure to subscribe and tune in then there is another one over there as well that's level 26 though but we could probably lure that like over here and do the same thing which might be better. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll, we'll just see what happens. Maybe tame multiple ones. Because they'd be really good for like defending the base as well. Anyway guys. I'm just waffling on. So <laughs> I'm going to end it here. And I'll see you here again in Ark Aberration next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Or bye bye. That's what I normally say. <laughs>